welcome back to the Tomcats for another episode of Day of the Tentacle. In the last episode we managed to win the human show with the mummy. And now we're one step closer to being able to get Laboon and the guys back together. Let's jump right back into the episode. So we've got this prize, this dinner certificate for Club Tentacle. And what I'm thinking is that we might be able to give that to the guard that's looking after the humans because he mentioned it himself while we were there. It closes in the kennel. So let's give that a try. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. Oh, he's gone. Yes. So let's turn the power off now and let these guys escape. You're free. Free to do what? Free to to run wild through the woods like you wild should. Wild humans. Big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustache That's what I want to happen. With a big net. If we ran off, he'd be right we on know. our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in you a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Luckily for me, I've got a cat that looks like a skunk. Right, so use cat. This is going to be good. Hey, look! A skunk! Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! This is an escape! Facility. Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Right, let's turn the switch back on, because that cat scared the bejesus out of me. Now I am the jailer, and you, you kitty, are my prisoner. <laughs> you kitty are my prisoner. <laughs> right, let's go down in the clock tower. Sesame. Cool. But it's all hooked up outside. So I need to use it to the outlet to the generator. Looks abandoned. The time machine is broken. Good riddance. It's the same generator that was in Dr. Fred's lab. Oh, where do I get that from? That looks like a hamster needs to go in there. Can I send the hamster across? I don't think I can put that in the oh, chronograph. How am I going to get the hamster there? Right, something else I need to do up here. How can I get the hamster there if I can't send it to the crown job? That ice machine is still there. Can I send it? Will that work? Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Can I put the hands through the machine? Is that me? It's gonna work. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. I think I can microwave him. There's that big giant microwave in the kitchen. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for it. I'm taken away from the hamsters. So don't do it. That's cruel. They're funny. Oh, look at him, he's all wet. He still looks really cold. I don't care, he'll warm up when he's running. He just shivers. I've got a little jump there, will that work? This ought to warm him up. Oh look, it's a little jumper. <laughs> oh no, where did that come from? Oh no, what was that all about? There's a face print on the glove. I hope it's sprung for good. Oh, she's about to I can't. It's built it in. With mouse hole. Get him! Get him, Laverne! Suck that hamster off. Didn't say that carefully. <laughs> Right now, it's dusty warm hamster on the generator. Well, yeah. Look at that sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. Yeah! I'm going home. I'm going home. What's if I can go in and get back now? Or do we have to wait for all of them? 
Meanwhile. Lieutenant, I want to okay. ask you something. It may okay. trouble you. Ask okay. away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. It could attack a bit of a wild catch up. So can it, son. This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Oh, hey! You mean like non squishy and non slimy? That's right. Come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Though basically stupid, they can Trixie. be tricky. They may be oh, in no. disguise. I hope he's not talking about me. I'm a good looking tentacle. Can I just use... That won't fit in there. Well, I'm all ready to go, but I guess I have to wait for Bernard and Hoagie. Ah, right. Do Hoagie. Can I pick them up? I don't understand that technical stuff. Help wanted sign. Can we give it to the doc this doctor? Yeah. What's this? Mm, help wanted moronic drone. Mm, assist genius. Yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get cool. to work. I haven't picked up the battery yet. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Let's go just attach the battery to the... And what am I doing? I should plug that into the battery. I can't open it. Ye oldie outhouses. So you plug. Need to get it oh, charged I'll first. So was ben Franklin wasn't around here. Ben Franklin again. Excuse me, mister. Mr. Electricity? <laughs> that would be me. Well, see ya. Carry on. So do I need to get electrocuted? It's totally covered with crud. So can I clean it? I don't wanna. I can't do anything without something to scrub. Oh, I've got that um, brush. We know I've got that brush. Levine's got that brush. I won't be able to get it very clean without oh, soap. Oh, I've got soap. Do I put soap in the bucket? 
the water's all sudsy yeah. now. Dum -de -dum. Oh, cool. Lightning. A bit of rain. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Because it always rains. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. So where's he gone? Has he gone back to his room? I need that kite. I'm not sure anything's that funny yet either. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. I don't understand that technical stuff. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister? Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to Let's somebody? Give him the jacket. Yeah, Let's Red make Edison. A, make a kite. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will so that fly. must mean that I can then get it to fit the bathroom. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history! Yeah! No, there's no fuse! So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything! You just push it! The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, alright? I'm on your lasagna. I'm on your lasagna. Let's so I need to put the battery so. in the kite. Now! Then push the kite. We. Handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Yeah. Run for your life. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now. So no, I need the battery. Oh, phew. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, nice. I think it's the sandwich. The best the sandwich. So I just need to attach this battery onto the chronogen and then Hoagie's ready to go back home. Yay! 
Yeah! Two out of two. Wow. Right then, we're going to leave that episode here for today. I think all we've got left to do now is to get the diamond in Bernard's time, and then get all three of them back to the present. And join us next time for another episode of Game of the Tentacle, here on the Tomcats. See you later!